Well, hello, TRM Partners. Pastor Philip here with another weekly word just for you. Mama Alberta sends her love. We're in our new studio. Praise the Lord. And it uh, won't be long before we get it all decked out the way uh, we want it. Mama, Mama Alberta got some ideas, and she always does. And uh, we're just thankful for God opening doors that no man can close. Hallelujah. So, uh, we are no longer recording over in FVC. We are in the Annex building, and uh, I foresee us being here for I don't know how long. Praise the Lord forever. <laughs> I don't know. God, God, His plans. I quit trying to figure it out. I just, I just download what He says, and we just go from there. But uh, this facility is great. And it's, you know, IBTC right down the hall, our Immersion Bible Training Center. And we're getting uh, things lined up there as well as phase two continues to uh, progress, Operation Faith. And so uh, we're thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, your partnership is valuable to us. We pray for you. We bless you. And, uh, you know, when uh, God illuminates a certain uh, individual, uh, one of you, or more than one of you, that we pray accordingly. And uh, But know this, we are praying and uh, releasing over your life uh, daily uh, utterance according to God's blessing. Amen. I got this uh, scripture in my heart. 2 Corinthians 1.10, and it says this, Who delivered us from so great a death, and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Now, I preached this years ago, but it come up to me again. Notice the past, present, and future deliverance right there. Now, it says, Who delivered us, from so great a death. What death? The wages of sin is death. You and I have been delivered from eternal death, eternal damnation, being spiritually dead. We have been delivered from that. Glory be to God. Jesus is our deliverer. Hallelujah. And so we've been, we've been delivered from such a great death. And then it says, and he does deliver. Well, what's that mean? That's present. That's present. So what God did in the past, in that deliverance in the past, he, ain't, he hadn't stopped delivering. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So in our past, he's delivered us from death. Now watch this. Not only has he delivered us from eternal damnation. But even after being born again and delivered from being dead in trespasses and sin, He has delivered us, myself, six times He raised me from the dead. See, He, delivered, he delivers us from death. Some of you uh, should have been dead by now. But God delivered you. He delivered you from that addiction. He delivered you from that perversion. He delivered you from that car wreck. He delivered you from, well, you know, blowing your brains out. Whatever. See, God delivered in the past. Now, now because He delivered in the past, we should know that right now, right now, partners, right today, He's delivering you. Well, I'm not, I don't have any addictions. I don't have any uh, hang-ups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's delivering you from whatever kind of opposition the enemy will try to bring. He delivers you from the lion's den. He delivers you from the fiery furnace, if you allow that, right? And so he does deliver. God is a non-stop 
deliverer. Hallelujah. See, and so it says here, who, who has delivered us from so great a death and present tense, he does deliver. But now watch this. In whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Now, folks, isn't this something that we can get up and testify? I could, I could call on you partners and you could tell me about the deliverance of the past. But yet when we get to the now, the situation you're facing, I know you believe in. You believe it, right? Well, we got some experience of being delivered in the past. Ought to let us know he's going to deliver us in the present. And we trust no matter what comes our way, he will deliver us in the future. Partners, we have nothing to fear. Our deliverer is with us nonstop. Even if you and I get ourselves in a mess, he'll deliver us out of it. Hallelujah. See, you know, I got myself in that, in that uh, mess uh, in, in 2023. My fault. But God delivered me. Why? He knew, he, see, if God sees you still trusting him, see, he's not, he's not locked in to today. God sees tomorrow. He saw Philip Derber right here teaching the word of God, preaching like he's supposed to, and recognizing his fault, getting it right, changing some things in his life so that that doesn't happen again. Are you following this? See? Now, I trust that God's going to deliver all of us in the future, no matter, no matter what war breaks out, no matter what the economy does, no matter what uh, the political uh, winds are blowing, our God, the same God that delivered us from so great a death, he does deliver us now. Whatever you're facing, there's deliverance for you now. Whatever it is, housing situation, vehicle transportation, schooling, see, something in your physical body, finances, marital problems, wanting a spouse, whatever your situation may be, uh, uh, perhaps you've done something uh, and you made a mistake. God's your deliverer. And he does deliver right now. He does deliver. Who delivered us from so great a death and does deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Folks, nonstop deliver. Listen up, partners. Your deliverance was not a one-time good deal. It is forever forever. That tells me that there'll be many times in my life that I need the deliverer to show up. Hallelujah. Lord, I need you to deliver me some finances. Hallelujah. I need you to deliver me some healing. Hallelujah. Now understand we got to use our faith. Understand the spiritual harvesting laws. But you need to understand he delivered you in the past He's going to deliver you right now and he's going to deliver you in whatever comes your way in the future. Partners, me and Mama Alberta, we love you and we're so thankful for each and every one of you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all of our TRM partners and I thank you for deliverance. Whatever situation they have, you're delivering them. I thank you, Lord God that you delivered us from our past and you're delivering us now and you will always deliver us in the future. We thank you for it. Now I bless them, spirit, soul, body, financially and socially in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, our soon and coming King. Thank you, Lord. So be it. Amen. Me and Mama Alberta and Petey, we love you. God bless you. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says where the word of a king is, there's power.
you be a blessing.